Hey everybody, it's Emily at Arg Schooling, and today I'm coming to you with another unboxing for the Build Your Library Family Reading Crate. So today I'm going to be unboxing the March Family Reading Crate. I'm very excited. This is the Goblins and Magic and Fantasy Oh My box. So you can kind of get an idea of what's going to be inside. And I also wore, if you can see, my special goblin inspired shirt based on the labyrinth. And that will make more sense later. Okay, so inside the box, first I'm going to show you the booklet that you'll always get. This is a booklet full of ideas and discussion questions and activities that you can do with your child based on the books that you'll be reading. And you will also get three bookmarks, and I'll show you those close so you can see. We have bookmarks based on the books. These are all art done by my son. So on this side is a dragon. Then we also have this side, which is a little harder to see, and it doesn't want to... There we go. That's a bat. And then I also have our exclusive Build Your Library bookmark. This month you get a George R. R. Martin quote, one of my favorites, a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies, said Jojen. The man who never reads lives only one. And then the fun extra this month is just some little dragons. There are four dragons in each box and they're all different colors and they're just a cute little fun toy. I don't know if you can see, the zoom does not want to cooperate. So now let's get into the books because really that's why you're here. This month there are four books in this box, a picture book, a family read aloud, a book for older readers, and a book for you, the parent. The picture book this month is The Goblin and the Empty Chair by Mem Fox. This is a beautifully illustrated book about a goblin who is scared of his own face and so he hides from the world and then he meets a family who seems to be in need of help and he offers to help them but in secret so it's a really sweet story the pictures are just beautiful so I hope your little ones enjoy that this month the family read aloud is it's the goblins puzzle being the adventures of a boy with no name and two girls called Alice by Andrew S Chilton this book is so fun the main character is a boy who literally has no name. He's a slave and he was never named. And he meets a goblin and he wants to find out whether or not he's really a slave or not. But the goblin is a little bit tricksy. So that's one side story going on. Then there's the two Alices. One is a princess and one is called Plain Alice. And a dragon accidentally catches and captures the wrong one. It's just a really fun story, and I love that this, the author weaves in lessons about logic, and so the questions that Boy is trying to ask the goblin aren't working for him, and plain Alice, who is very studious and smart, helps him to learn about logic and how he needs to ask better questions. So I thought that was excellent. This is also just a really fun fantasy romp in a magical world where there are goblins and dragons and ogres and all kinds of interesting creatures. So, very fun. The book for older readers is Shadow Magic by Joshua Kahn. I thought this was excellent. This is just classic fantasy, fantasy world where you have a main character who is Lily, who is the new queen of the shadow family and she lives in Gehenna which is very dark and she lives in Castle Gloom. The map here is really nicely drawn. I really like when they put maps in fantasy books. It's just my favorite. And so she lives in Castle Gloom. Her whole family's been killed. She's the last heir to the throne and she lives there with her uncle. And women in 
that part of the world are forbidden from using magic, and the magic of her family is necromancy, so she's not allowed to do magic, but she does know how, and so she meets a boy named Thorn who was captured by and made a slave by her executioner, and he's working for him now to earn his freedom, and there's a whole plot. It's just, oh, it's so good. It's political intrigue and wild magic and all kinds of fun stuff. I just thought this book was great. It's plugged on the front by Rick Riordan, if that says anything to you, but you can see there's a giant bat that Thorn rides, and it's just so much fun. I loved this book. There's also a sequel, which I've got to get my hands on. And finally, the book for you, the parent, is Winter Song by S.J. Jones. And I had actually had this book for a while and hadn't gotten to it yet. And I finally picked it up and I was like, this book needs to be in this box. <laughs> it's so good. This is a retelling of The Labyrinth, but it's definitely not the labyrinth like i grew up watching labyrinth that's like my favorite movie <laughs> or one of my favorite movies and so when i heard this was a retelling of that i was a little bit skeptical at first because like how can you possibly make that better and i don't think that that was her intention to make it better because it's very different this is about a girl named liesel who grows up in a german family and that feels like the turn of the century maybe like the late 1800s and so Liesl works with her family in their inn, and her life is very boring, but she's grown up listening to stories about this Goblin King and magic and this world of the goblins, and she very much believes in it. And she meets the Goblin King all the time in the Goblin Grove near her house, and she grew up befriending him, basically. And then when she gets older and responsibility takes over, she stops visiting him. And one day the Goblin King shows up and steals her more beautiful sister. This is the story of Liesl rescuing her sister and what comes after. I thought this book was very well written. It's really beautifully written. She weaves in all kinds of like music stuff. So if you're not familiar with music, it might be a little off-putting at first because it took me a minute to get into that part of the story, but once you're there, I think that it just brings the world more into focus, and it's especially nice if you want to put some classical music on and listen to that in the background while you're reading. I think that kind of adds to the ambiance of the story. And it is also a romance between Liesl and the Goblin King, and it's just, ugh, it's, it's a really, really beautiful book, and I just felt very much in the world while I was reading it. So that's what you'll be getting in the March read Family Reading Crate. I had a lot of fun putting this together. I love fantasy. It's one of my favorite things. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun with the books and activities. If you want to know more about the Family Reading Crates, I'll leave a link below in the description box where you can find out more information. And I'll see you guys for the next month when it's Bookception, Books Within Books for the next month's theme. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Happy reading. Bye.